Right now, Elizabeth City, North Carolina, under a state of emergency as protests are growing over the death of Andrew Brown Jr. He was shot and killed by sheriff's deputies serving an arrest warrant last week. Yesterday, authorities allowed Brown's family to see body camera footage of the shooting. Now, the family says they were shown just 20 seconds of video from one officer, despite at least eight other deputies wearing cameras when it happened. Why is it that they get to choose What's the pertinent parts of the video to show the family? And uh, so far, none of that body camera footage has been released to the public. Rachel Lumberg joining us now. So Rachel protests, uh, protesters still demanding answers this morning and rightfully so. Yes, Carolyn, the situation got tense last night as protesters were surrounding the home of the district attorney demanding uh, that they release that video. You'll see the video of the protesters from last night and that situation, just how many of them were showing up and demanding for that video to be released. A lot of them very upset after the district attorney reportedly said he wouldn't be bullied into releasing it. Now, the sheriff has promised transparency on this. Take a listen. This tragic incident was quick and over in less than 30 seconds, and body cameras are shaky and sometimes hard to decipher. They only tell part of the story. Outside investigators, both from the SBI and from four other sheriff's offices, are interviewing witnesses and gathering more information. A lot of people raising concerns this morning about what was shown to the family specifically. One woman saying that video was from the officer standing the furthest away. The family did get an independent autopsy, and we are expected to hear about those results around 11 o'clock this morning. So we will be following that closely, and we will bring the announcement and the latest updates for you on our noon show.